Hi everyone. Um, today I want to talk about uh, this pair. This is um, Levi's 505 um, LVC, um, you know, Levi's vintage clothing, um, size 36, 32. So, and it's a salvage denim. Uh, this is all the labels it came with, and I kind of removed them because it's been washed once. Uh, by washing, I mean, um, so I just only soak in a sort of like a slightly, you know, warm water, like a cold, almost water, and for about 20, 30 minutes. And I didn't wear much. I think it's probably was about, you know, four weeks on and off. Uh, this is all the stuff it comes with. So, lot 505, 36 waist, and 32 length. Um, so, I want to do like a brief review on the measurements. Mm, so, this is, this is what it looks like, the table here. Um, and just a quick review and what I'm thinking about it. So, I kind of um, um, bought these pants. And I thought it's going to get, sh you know, will shrink. But actually, this is a TTS, which means true to the size. And this is different from those 501s, which is most of them LVC, they actually STF shrink to fit. This is actually, you have to buy the size you normally wear, which mine is 34. But I kind of thought, okay, maybe I wanna just have like a little loose jeans and, uh, you know, uh, and um, I have kind of a mixed feeling about the cut, even though it's very, very popular, um, you know, very popular 505, 505, you know, style with a lot of guys love it. So um, it kind of has a little tapered look and uh, a little wider in the size. You know, we'll get to the measurements, we'll talk about this. Um, there's a few things. I mean, the denim is very nice. It's actually kind of a pretty nice and um, was kind of stiff and tight denim and it still kind of looks good and feels good. It doesn't feel cheap. You know, there's like a um, blue, like there's a, you know, the salvage and, you know, red ID. Um, so, um, beautiful denim. Uh, so I believe it was like made in um, Kaihara meal. So they made in Japan as well. So, you know, like latest, I don't know, three, four pairs, um, pretty much was made in Japan, late lab purchase from Levi. So here we are, it was made in Japan. And um, let's see, um, it has, the, the, what, what's weird because they're not cheap. I think they're around about $260 and I, I bought at some discount. I think I got it for probably like 170. There was some kind of a sale. Uh, like Memorial Lale or whatever, I, I, I don't remember exactly. But the, this pretty, the label is pretty cheap. It's actually like a, like a cardboard, it's like a paper. It's not, if you pay premium $260, <laughs> this is ridiculous, they put like a cardboard label. And some people don't have an issue with that, but it's kind of ridiculous because it's getting pretty much, I'll show you what it later, will be look like this is a cardboard and that's what happens with the cheap jeans so this is just kind of a generic 501s um, and uh, I don't want to pay so much money like 260 bucks and have the cardboard and after several washes it will just completely destroy this is one bit um, so let's do it doesn't also have like a hidden rivets here it just kind of like a regular uh -huh. so let's see the coin pocket, also just a regular stitch on the coin pocket. Uh, there is no salvage here. So it's a little kind of a little cheaper compared to, you know, 1947, uh, for example. But, you know, like I said, people love the cut. People kind of like, I don't know, like it's a little like, like I said, tapered stuff. So let's do, so it comes with all these labels, this bag, okay, and it's, Kind of a cheap Levi bag, I don't know, kind of useless. So let's do the measurements. Start from the waist. Um, as usual, we're gonna line up, line up front and back. 
this is a proper proper measure. What it's gonna do? 18. I would say this is 18 and a half almost. So, and that's why it's a little too loose for me because mine normally is like 18 across. So let's do the front rise. Okay, front rise, it's about 11 and, you know, yeah, 11.5. You know, it's pretty nice. It's actually, it's, it's like kind of like between 11 and 11.5. That's normal. It's actually a level from medium to high rise, which is nice. So the, the thigh, let's do one inch from the center from the crouch. It's 12. And in the seam, you know, I didn't do any alterations. It's a little long for me, but you know, it's uh, oh, also the kind of a interesting. No, that's a chain stitch. So it has a chain stitch here, which is uh, kind of standard for LVC um, because the cheaper ones just regular stitch. So let's do the inseam. would be 30, yep, actually 32. They, so they didn't shrink at all. So as far as I can see, even after like pretty long soak, the knee, across the knee, we're gonna do 13 down and uh, let's see, nine and one eighth and uh, at the hem. Um, you're gonna be eight, eight and a half. So it's pretty kind of standard. I mean, it's I would say, um, except that the, the it's pretty wide and pretty loose in in the in the thigh area. So, but I'm gonna put them on later, and you know later in the, in this video, and, and you can see what it kind of looks on me. Um, so let's see. So this is the back. Yeah, it's pretty nice. It's already, you know, beginning to see some kind of a definition. Uh, it will be nice fading definition. So I definitely, I went way too big. I think I should have gotten, since it's TTS true to the size, should have gotten 34, 32. And it probably would be much better fit for me. So I guess I just probably gonna be just selling them on eBay. Um, but anyway, so um, I think we've done all the measurements um, and I'm just going to go uh, put them on and um, uh, we'll see what it looks like. And uh, thank you so much for watching and uh, you know, if you have any questions, just, uh, you know, um, ask me anything and uh, bye.